you can you can do it you know no matter what trials or obstacles you have it is possible um i think that if you have children trying to find someone and that can be the hard the hard part too you know me i was lucky enough i have a wonderful supporting husband the days that i had to go to school and actually had to go to class he had her the days i had tests at home he took her into another room um if you don't have that kind of support at home try to connect with other students um you know or connect with other people in school or friends from work or something where you can kind of trade off babysitting um i've done that in the past you know i'll watch the kids this day while you go to school if you watch the kids this day while i'll go to school but just no matter what don't not do it because you have an obstacle because there's an, an answer a solution to every problem <laughs> you know you just have to try to figure it out, work it out, talk to different people. And that's the biggest part. Talk to, go to the school. They have great guidance counselors and ask them for some resources. Um, then if you're looking for employment while you're in school, on my resume, I just started because I knew I didn't have the degree yet, but I knew I had the skills. So I started listening to classes that I took, you know, relevant to a position I was um, applying for. I'd say, you know, I graduate in this year, this month, and relevant courses are, and I listed the courses that I took already, and I listed my GPA on my resume. Um, I provided professional references and um, developed good relationships with your professors, because I was able to get almost every single one of my professors at some point in time to write a recommendation letter for me for a scholarship or a job. And I think that if you work hard, your professors are willing to do that. So if you're gonna go, you have to go with the intention of, I'm really serious about this and I'm gonna try my best to make this happen, not just for something to do, you know, because it's gonna cost you money and it's gonna cost you time. I've been doing this for four years <laughs> and I'm gonna graduate with a two year degree, but it's still worth it. And that's just because I had to go part time. Um, I'd also recommend not taking more than two, three at the most classes if you're working. Um, I attempted four classes one semester and I got the classes done, but that was not fun. It was very, very hard, very stressful. It almost made me want to quit. Um, I would just say, go, don't worry about how long it's going to take. Go at the pace that you're able, um, because two classes is a lot of work. So you're going to go to work all day and then you're going to come home. You're going to work all night too. And don't overdo it thinking that you just want to get done fast because you still want to get the good grades and you want to actually learn. And if you're just kind of doing all of them at one time, you're not really absorbing the information. So I think, you know, going at a, a decent pace, um, again, making good relationships with professors and trying to have build your support system before you go.